I'd say the biggest takeaway from this call and the reason why the stock is up right now, although it's, you know, not knocking the cover off the ball, uh, is, is the fact that they, there are initiatives, including the five dealer dollar, um, value meal bundle, uh, the $5 meal deal, I should say, um, the chicken Big Mac and some of the other initiatives, better operations, uh, had actually led to a mid-single digit same store sales increase and positive traffic for the first three weeks of October. And so um, the street's kind of taken that as a positive right now. Um, in terms of the fourth quarter, it was, you know, they didn't give us much information. We did get inform um, a nice report from Bloomberg second measure data yesterday that showed same store sales were down 9% last week. So that basically wiped out the mid single digit gain. And they're probably a little bit from like flat to up a modestly here um, in October. Right. And so, um, yeah, <laughs> it's it was kind of a good news, bad right. news. Uh, last couple days for, for McDonald's. Well, John, you were asking what does a $5 meal deal include? It includes a McDouble or a McChicken sandwich, small fries, four-piece chicken McNuggets, and a small soft drink. That's oh. solid for $5. Oh, oh, oh. So Where's that would drive traffic. I miss the proper dollar menu. Yes, exactly. <laughs> they really, they, I was always a big fan of that in college. But I would point out, like, in 2015, you saw other companies like Chipotle that were hit by E. coli outbreaks. And unfortunately, at that time, Chipotle had to uh, temporarily close a number of restaurants on the West Coast. What do you think we can glean from other instances when this has happened uh, in the restaurant industry and, and how quickly this could be cleared up? Yeah, well, we think this is very different than Chipotle. So... Um, a big part of it is just the operational differences. You know, McDonald's is uh, a closed kitchen. You know, it turned out to be the, sl the slivered onions. And so it was one item. It wasn't, um, you know, beef patties spread across many different products, right? It was just the onions served in the quarter pounders with cheese. So, so we think this outbreak will be smaller than we saw with a lot of other chains. Chipotle was also unique. Um, Chipotle, uh, same store sales dropped for five straight quarters. They were down 20%. Uh, that first year, um, but you know their food is out in the open, right? It's behind a sneeze guard, but you know it it can uh, get you know contaminated by multiple different employees, even even um, some of the customers potentially, right? So it's a much harder operation um, to get right at Chipotle, and and for some of those reasons, we think it's going to be a lot shorter and it's going to be a lot shallower. You know, that being said, I think same, for, fourth quarter same store sales are, are definitely going to take a hit. I think. People are going to be turned off from McDonald's. I think it'll probably spread a little bit into the first quarter next year. But McDonald's is working hard to to get those same U.S. same store sales kind of back on the right track. You know, um, it's going to be about value. There's going to be, more, you know, the five dollar meal deal is going to go through year end and expect to see more of those type promotions next year. They're going to roll out an everyday value menu in the first quarter. That's um should should help boost results next year you know better operations more chicken sales like the chicken big mac more digital sales uh and they even hinted at some fourth quarter food innovation uh coming out so um they're working hard to try to try to uh course correct here Something with McDonald's, I always like to keep an eye on for a telltale sign of consumer confidence is the French fry indicator because you can tell if uh, how French fries are done and how the number of people ordering fries can indicate sort of sentiment. What do you think with sort of the latest uh, earnings and what you can glean from that and what that really means when it comes to uh, what consumer confidence can tell us with the French fry indicator? Well, listen, I'm not looking at the French fry indicator, <laughs> to be honest, you know, but but, you know, what we're seeing and what we think we'll continue to see is is low income consumers struggling. And so McDonald's, the, their strong result in the first three weeks of October, a lot of that was driven by being able to attract low income consumers in with a very strong price point. And, um, you know, but inflation continues to hurt these low income consumers. Right. We see this K-shaped economy where. Low income consumers are really pulling back on their restaurant spending. But right now, asset prices are, are near, you know, a lot of them are near all time high stock. The U.S. stock market's near an all time high. Uh, gold and silver have been ripping higher. Bitcoin's approaching another all time high. Home prices have held in throughout the higher rates and everything else and are near all time highs. And so we think, you know, upper middle income, middle income, high, higher income consumers are all doing well and spending and, um, you know, our chains are trying to attract those customers.